If I'm going to do this, I need my news team by my side. News team, assemble! Good afternoon, Vikes. I'm Ashley, and this is Joshi with your daily news for November 15th. Yearbook. Have you bought your yearbook yet? Prices go up right after Thanksgiving. Stop by C2 and do this ASAP. $50 standard, $55 personalized. Key Club members, we are meeting after school tonight to make ornaments for our donation for Sheltered Living's Festival of Trees. Come to Mr. Kermy's room right after school if you can help. Last chance, FCC LA members, to sign up for the Thanksgiving movie party. Come to E15 and sign up today. All NHS members and new inductees should report to the library tonight at 6.15. Induction ceremony will be held at 6.30 p.m. All current members should remember to bring cookies to the ceremony or deliver them to Mrs. Dorian's room today. Attention Spirit Club officers, there will be an officers only meeting in Ms. Henry's rooms and 14 after school on Wednesday. Please let Ms. Henry or Mrs. Murray Brandt know if you cannot attend. FCA, this week during seminar, students will have the opportunity to raise money to help dig a well for clean drinking water in third world countries by having a coin drive. Please donate to this worthy cause. The top senior, junior, sophomore, and freshman seminars Raising the most money by Monday, November 21st, will each be awarded a seminar party after the Thanksgiving break. Seaman High School Show Choir will perform their annual cabaret show on Thursday, November 17th at 7 o'clock in the Freshman Commons. Tickets are $5 and include the show, a dessert, and a drink. Come for the music, laughs, and showmanship. Tickets are available at the door or from a show choir member. Congratulations to Josh Whistler on being selected as a member of the Northeast Kansas Music Educators Association District Choir. Josh had to audition against over 100 other bases to be selected for this group. Congratulations, Josh. Educational opportunity. Students interested in the health field, check out Kansas State University and their pre-health programs tonight, Tuesday, November 15th at the St. Francis Sports Medicine Center. 801 Southwest Fairlawn. Registrations begin at 6.30 p.m. and this program lasts from 7 to 8.30. Now over to your sports with Sarah after this quick commercial break. Things on this planet. That's why me and Brenna started Nature Walk. So that everybody can know how neat nature is instead of just me and Brenna knowing about it. Let's go! Oh, score! This tree right here is an aspen. You know how I know that? Because that's just the way it is. That's pretty neat. <laughs> Some of the greatest food on this earth can actually be found just in your backyard. Something I call nature. How neat is that? How neat is that? This right here? Big Kansas Leap, also known as a Kansas Big Leap. You know how I know that? Because it's big and we're in Kansas. How neat is that? This is probably the biggest tree in North America, if I must say so myself. <laughs> how neat is that? Bird? Here, yeah, birdie bird? I don't see anything, but that doesn't mean they won't come out yet. This is right here is what is killing our planet. Stupid people who take stuff and they put it under bridges and don't recycle. Found a water bottle. 
that's recyclable. A bag with a dead body in it, still recyclable. Leaves, recyclable. People these days. <laughs> I'm Adam Mill, and this is the Trash Can Derby. I tell you. Hey folks, John Madden here. I'm gonna come and tell you what Adam O did wrong. Boom, tough action acting right through it. Problem is, he's littering. Oh, there's a lot of pain and shame in those screams. That kid's gotta be in a world of hurt. Don't litter in my hall, kids. Man, school's for food. Again! There will be a bowling meeting next Tuesday, November 22nd, after school in E14. Now over to Tyler with the weather. Current, for today's forecast, currently it is 52 degrees. Tonight it will be 27. For a three-day forecast, Wednesday it will be cloudy with a high of 51, a low of 25. Thursday it will be sunny with a high of 52 and a low of 37. Friday, it'll be partly cloudy with a high of 59 and low of 46. Today in history, in 1940, the New York Giants made plans for a lighting system for 1940 season so they could play at night. In 1965, the fastest man on wheels set a world record at 600 miles per hour. Now back to your anchors. Seaman High School students have many talents. Let's find out about one of them, Shane Sumner. Here at Seaman High School, there's a sophomore with a unique talent. He rides dirt bikes competitively in Kansas City and around the United States. He has been riding dirt bikes competitively since he was five and still is until this day. My name is Shane Sumner. I ride a Yamaha YZ125 and my number is 49. I got my first bike when I was four. I'm 15 now. I've been riding ever since. I mainly ride at Taylor Hatch's track here in Topeka and that's where we are today. In seventh grade, Shane broke his leg while riding at Taylor Hass's house. But despite his injury, he got back on his bike and continued riding. I was going over that jump over there, and I hit a mulch pile. And I swapped out and put my leg down. And uh, next thing I knew, I was laying on the ground, and I had a spiral fracture in my tibia. The day I broke my leg was actually my dad's birthday. I started riding because my dad rode and so did my neighbor and every time my neighbor rode I'd go and watch him and I fell in love with it from the start and I begged for a bike for two years and I finally got one. When Shane was in third grade, him and his team were filmed in the Nitro Circus 3 movie. He is featured as number six. Not only has he been in dirt bike movies but also in Raider X, a dirt bike magazine when he was seven. Shane has won over 90 trophies since he was five and over 100 plaques. I want to thank my mom and my dad for doing everything they've done for me and supporting me all these years. Shane plans to keep riding for as long as he can, but mainly at Taylor House's track. This has been Shelby Slimmer and Cassidy Frost signing off with SVTV. He is one of many talented Vikings. If you or someone you know has a talent and wants us to do a story, let us or D know. Take a sleazy, Vikes. Deuces, Vikes. <laughs>